All right, Mopar people. Want y'all check out my shirt? Found that online. I know I've been promising you a motor build, and I've been working on it. Um, I kind of put the cart before the horse here. I was going to, I got my motor kind of rolled over in the corner there. Um, gonna throw this thing together, but you know I like to go step by step. So I got my new wine stealth intake. Today I'm gonna prep that intake and kind of show you what's going into that. So here's the intake gasket that I use to pour these heads with. These are 318 heads. You may have missed it in my other video. I had two sets of 360 heads and they were both cracked. So this is what I got. So I've opened these windows up and I went very deep into the ports on these. I've got several videos on that. This Today's video is not about that. I'm just showing you, this is the gasket that I used. So I didn't, didn't make them overly huge or anything like that. But if we come over here, We'll get zoomed out. Uh, my new wine stealth intake. Um, let me show you those ports. They're not huge by any means. I, I believe they're probably um, closer to a 318 port. Uh, the intake itself was, I, would, I think it's the least expensive dual plane option out there. And it, it really looks good. The the casting, everything. Let's see if I can get it turned for you here. And I'm just gonna show you kind of what I'm gonna do today. I got that gasket set up and I like these. I'm not going to use the metal gasket. I'll use these Felpro 1213s to put that on with. It'll even block off my heat passage, which I can fill that in also, but I like to get it centered and then I can mark my lines to open the intake up. Here's a book I'm ref referencing today. This is the kind of the Mopar small block Bible, the Larry Shepard. This is different than the first book. This kind of gives you the how and the why. So uh, it does talk about cutting the plenum on the intake, that the very center there, and it says, you should leave a 3 8 inch high wall at the bottom and leave points on either end. Um, so I might end up doing that. I might leave it out. Uh, I was actually, my plan was to run a one inch spacer. So if you run the spacer, it's kind of the same thing. Um, if I have time, I'll, I may go ahead and cut it and I'll show you that. But I wanted to show you just my uh, kind of what I'm going to do to port this intake. I know I've got another intake porting video out there, so if you're tired of seeing them, uh, I guess stop watching now or go take a shower or whatever you need to do. But I'll get you set up here and kind of show you. There's my marker. There we are. So I dropped dropped in four bolts, one, two, three, four. The gasket itself has a little bit of play, but it's mostly aligned, if you'll see here. I can move it up, up and down for you. So what I like to do is center it. See, forward and backward and up and down. So my actually, my side to side is not bad. Go up, go down. All right there, and I'll take my red marker, try to catch a lip everywhere I can. There's one. Yeah, see, if I, if I let that drop down, what the difference is. There's down, there's up. Center it. Once again, about right there. It's not rocket science or rocket surgery, whatever you want to call it. Draw my line. And I'm going to clean up all that, the majority of that casting flash in there. I don't like that. And see if I can show you this side. Real quick. 
people want to know what's what I'm doing here. Hopefully that'll stay there. Like that. Be still. Got her. There we are. Let's pull it off and take a look. So, not a lot, but somewhat. Get where you can see that. Little bit of casting flash in there. This side, about the same. So I'm gonna get set up. Um, I just wanted to show you real quick there's my Harbor Freight Special. This is just a sandpaper roll. I was gonna hit one with it and kind of show you what it does. And then I can move. You know, it's it's probably not gonna be very aggressive. I'll go to my carbide burrs. Um, typically this would be more designed for aluminum. And I'll just kind of let you watch me work here. Like I said, I don't I don't wanna waste more of your time on a porting video, but if, it, if this whole series is supposed to be about uh, tips for performance and longevity, uh, this is gonna be performance. Being able to match that up perfectly to the heads over there. Um, so I highly recommend. Let me put you down and I'll get set up here. It smooths it up nicely. You could use the sandpaper roll if you needed to, but it's actually better for uh, if you were really in a hurry or if you didn't want to buy those carbide bits. Aluminum's so soft, um, really you don't, you don't need a super aggressive bit and a lot of work to even knock that little bit of stuff out. Let me get the correct tool and I'll come back and show you. I'm doing is just opening up that window. I'll put my sandpaper roll back on, kind of clean this up. It doesn't really need to be super smooth. Uh, if you want your smooth on the exhaust side. So this side's actually, it's not bad. I want to knock out some more of that flashing. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and knock out this whole side real quick. Okay, I did not go ahead and cut that out, you can tell. But what I did do, and I've saw seen in a couple places online, um, I actually just narrowed that and pulled out the chin, uh, corners there, just, just a little bit, kind of opened it up some. Not a big deal. Uh, you know, knocked off the top, did that. A little bit more flow probably. 
if I had my spacer here, which I don't, um, I can actually draw a line on the inside of it and open it up. That'll give me some more flow because you can kind of see it right here. This is just an overhang. It, it's not doing anything, but when the butterflies move from this level up an inch, right, it could actually be flowing air and fuel and hit that and do a little tumble. So I'll get my spacer here, open these up. I probably won't do a video on that just because I'm ready to get this motor together and running. So hopefully next time you see it, I need to uh, drop my lifters in, push rods, rocker arms, um, obviously bolt the intake on, uh, a few small things, and it'll be ready to go. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.